Hey, welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today, we're gonna to take a look at an exciting new tool made by Milesy. This will be released in the near future and it combines the feature of a laser distance meter with a tape measure. So let's take a look at it on today's Tool Tech Talk. I think I should put this on TikTok. Then it could be Tool Tech Talk on TikTok. So Milesy is a brand that I've come to know and trust. In fact, my favorite laser distance meter is the D9 Pro. So when they approached me to check out their latest innovation, the X-Tape 1 that they're doing a crowdfunding campaign for, I couldn't say no. As this tool incorporates a modular system for both a tape measure and a laser distance meter. So let's dig into this tool, see what comes inside the box, check out its physical construction, and then dive into its digital features. Let's start off by diving into the box. Inside the box, you're going to get the user manual as well as a zippered soft shell case that contains the tool as well as a charger. And I'll have to say, as someone who already owns three to four Milesy products already, those zippered soft shelled cases come in really handy not only to protect the tool, but to keep it clean. Now I already said this is a modular system. There's two pieces to this tool, one containing the tape measure and one containing the laser distance meter. The two pieces easily attach and detach by simply sliding them on top of each other. Now one of the advantages of having a modular system like this is if the tape measure becomes crimped or damaged, you can simply replace the tape measure portion of this tool and not the whole tool itself. Now that we understand the modular component of this tool, let's take a detailed look at its physical construction. Let's take a look at the hook and the stainless steel blade first. As you can see, the tape measure has a nice dual-sided hook that allows you to hook it onto either side of the blade. On the very tip, it's also magnetic, giving you the ability to attach this hook to anything magnetic. If we take a look at the blade, you can see that it has 16th inch increments and it's dual sided, giving you that extra flexibility. And the tape measure is an automatic tape measure, which just means it will stay out as far as you pull it. Now, one thing that's just a little bit different about this tool that I really like is that the blade release button is not on the top of the tool, but actually on the bottom, giving you just a little bit more room for all the digital features. But let's not dig into the digital features of this tool yet. Let's continue our tour of the physical construction. Let's start off at the top of the tape measure. Our first button we see is the measure button. After that, we'll find the function button. Next, we'll find the plus, minus, and select to the left button. After that, we'll find the reference switch, and then we'll find the zeroing button. Lastly, we'll find the power and clear button. Now let's take a look at the left-hand side of the tool, which contains two buttons. And these buttons are at the very front of the tool. The first button is the page down history record, and the second button is the memory page up history record. You'll also notice a clip at the base of the tool and also a small dial so that you can calibrate the laser. Let's flip the X-Tape 1 around and check out the right hand side of the tool. If we look at the right hand side of the tool, you'll first notice there's a blue button, and this is a measurement button. This allows you to capture your measurement and does the exact same thing as the blue button on top giving you two options to capture your measurement. You'll also notice there's a setting button that allows you to go to your menu options. And lastly, you'll find the USB charging port right on the front of the tool. Now let's take a look at the front and the butt end of the tool. On the butt end of the tool, you're going to find a tripod mounting area so that you can keep this tool stationary. If we flip the tool around, on the front end of the tool, you're going to find a laser emitting lens as well as a laser receiving lens. And that laser is not the only laser on this tool. There's actually a secondary green laser for measurement alignments. It's this laser on the undercarriage that makes getting your precise measurements just a little bit easier. And that about covers all the physical components of the X-Tape 1. Now let's dig into some of the more exciting digital features. And this is where this tool really shines. As you can see, it's got a nice color LCD display. And if we turn the tool to the side, I can press the setting buttons to go to our menu option. And the first thing that we're going to select is the button on the top left-hand side. By selecting this option, we can take a look at the increments you can use with this tool. And as you can clearly see, you can select from meters, feet, inches, feet with inches, millimeters, as well as centimeters. The next option we have is the wireless link option. This wireless link can be turned on or off and connect you to the Smart Life app. Measurement data can be consequently transmitted from the laser tape measure to mobile terminals. Don't like your tape measure beeping at you? Well, that's exactly what the next button does. By selecting this option, you can turn your beeping on and off. The next three options are to get your LCD display to look exactly how you want it. If we select the first button, you can see all the different colors you can change your digital tape measure to be, as well as different font sizes for the numbers that are shown. 
The second option allows you to rotate the display so that you can see it either from the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the tape measure. And the last display option allows you to change the color scheme from a light to a dark option. The next option allows you to deal with the thickness of the laser that's used in combination with the tape measure. Just like we have to account for the kerf of our saw blade, we also have to account for the thickness of the laser. So you can take your measurement from the back of the laser, the front of the laser, or right down the middle. And the final tape measure settings button is the offset button. When the offset is turned on, all measurement results will be added or subtracted by the offset value. And that just about covers all the settings with the X-Tape 1. Now let's get into its digital functions. To do that, we need to talk about some of the functions of the buttons on the top. And these buttons are pretty self-explanatory. The button on the bottom is the on and off button. The blue button is the capture button. The button on the right is the button that zeroes out the measurement. The button on the left allows you to scroll through the menus. The button on the top right hand side allows you to turn the laser on and off for the tape measure. And that leaves just one more button that we need to dive into, and that's the function button. And this button is on the top right hand side of the tool. Currently, there are 11 functions that come out of the box with this tool. Many of them are Pythagorean functions, which we're not going to dive into in this video, but I will show you what's available. The first function is the measurement function, and this simply allows you to use the laser distance meter to take a measurement from one point to another. The next function is the continuous function, and this allows you to continuously get a measurement from your laser distance meter to any point you point it at. The next function is the area function, and this allows you to take two perpendicular measurements to get the area in between those measurements. In the same way, you can calculate the volume using the volume function. By taking the height, the length, and the width, you can easily calculate the volume. The next three functions are Pythagorean functions. This allows you to calculate an indirect length, an indirect height, as well as do a point-to-point. -point. And point-to-point -point is one of my favorite features with laser distance meters. You can simply point the laser at two hard to reach spots on any wall and calculate that distance immediately. So if I wanted to get the measurement between the beam on the right and the corner on the left, I could take those two measurements and see that my measurement is eight feet and three inches exactly. Almost no need for a ladder when you have a tool like this. The next function is the stakeout function. And this is something that I'm not gonna go into detail on this video, but it is available. The next two functions incorporate that green laser that we took a look at earlier to help you calculate angles. And the first function is called the tilt angle. And this does two things. First of all, it turns on the green laser so that you can see it on your wall. This not only shows the green laser on the wall, but it also gives you a readout so that you can make sure you're perfectly aligned. This can be perfect for lining things up like pictures or even outlets. The next function is the included angle function, and this allows you to set any angle to zero so that you can get the relative measurement. So you can set any angle to zero and then get the relative measurement. And this brings us to our last function, which is the one end line split. Let's take a look at how this works. If we click on the function, you'll see it takes us to a screen that asks us how many segments we'd like to break our measurement into. In this case, I want to break it up into five segments. Once we've entered five, I'll take my measurement and hit the measure button. Then your tape measure will show you a display that shows you which segment you're in and beep at you every time you hit a new segment. This allows you to draw a line at each segment, creating a perfect division. And that takes us through all the functions that are available today with this amazing Miles Z X Tape 1. Well, I really hope you enjoyed checking out this amazing piece of technology on today's Tool Tech Talk. I know I enjoyed checking out this tool as I'm always interested in checking out the latest technologies that will be available to us DIYers in the near future. Currently, Malzi's in the crowdfunding campaign for the X-Tape 1, so if you're interested in figuring out how you can get your hands on this tool before anybody else, check out the links below. Make sure you take advantage of the X-Tape's early bird pricing. Right now, you can get the X-Tape for $199, which is a $200 savings, and prices are only going to go up. Well, thanks to Milesy for allowing us to get a sneak peek of this amazing tool on this Tool Tech Talk. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.